Today, Rebecca and I are gonna see our brand new show, Rooted, for the very first time, and either give it our thumbs up, go ahead, let's get this out there, or our thumbs down. Just resent the link, it works for me, but let me know if it doesn't show up on your end. Holy not. It's here, it wasn't here, this, I mean, he's saying he sent it, I don't see it. Oh my gosh. There it is. I'm so nervous and excited at the same time. This, that's our premiere show, Rooted. That's, the, that's gonna be the name of the show. Like TV production quality, like Netflix production quality show. I should explain a few things as we go into this. Yes, projector screen. You guys are getting an online premiere Sunday. We're doing a very small, some of the crew premiere here Friday. This is like, well, 120 inches diagonal. That means it's 10 foot wide. Also, Mr. Brown has kinked his neck. I'm trying to get him to move it, but he doesn't get that concept. I think it's his first kink. Do you think you could move your neck? Uh-huh. My mom was a kid. Growing up in Florida, they had their hero, Dan Marino. Uh -huh. You know who that is? Uh-huh. The star quarterback, hunk, athletic. This is what he did when he got kinked neck. Move it around. Can you move your neck around like Dan Marino? Good. Now move it. Oh, good. good. Keep going that way. Other way. That must be the comfortable way. Oh, good. That's a change. That is a positive change. Much more than he did this morning. I did give him a hot bath, so maybe that helped. Lily, you gonna play Uno's with him? Yeah. That's good. It'll, it'll probably keep him. Keep his neck moving. Anything to do to keep his neck moving. I've found that movement tends to be one of the best healers in the world. With pretty much almost anything that ails you. Hey Rebecca. Yeah? The show's here. It is. Yeah. Rebecca needs about 20 more minutes. You can tell I'm so excited. So let's take that moment to check up on the chores. And they're mountain boarding. Can you show us how to jump the drum? Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a long time. And didn't you loosen up the trucks even more? I can make them tight. It was wobbly for me as tight as it was. Uh-uh. I was too sketchy yesterday. Okay. There's a baby coming. Well, then how do you do it? <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm still glad that you think your old man can jump a mountain board. A wooden ramp on gravel. How do you do it then? Well, I think you get more practice just riding it first. Okay, okay. Get a more sense of the board. It was a long time before I did my first jump. It was? Okay. Oh, yeah. Dusty and dirty. Dusty and dirty roads. They're raring to go. Hey, let's see you go down this road. All right, let's check on the chores. Chicken tractor chickens are good. Did you guys load the wood stove? Yep. yep. Okay, thanks. I guess winter chores are so easy. It's time for getting chores done and going mountain boarding. You guys did good getting all the wood up. What are we gonna do with all the bark? Put it in the burn pile? Yeah. That doesn't like the dough. Filler somewhere? Yeah, haul it off up there, yeah. What do I use it for That'll filler? work, because it's too dirty for the our burning. What are y'all doing? Our cheap's teeth are getting bigger. They're due like next month. They're Which not. one? Which one has a big teeth? This one. See? Oh wow. Yeah, you see it in there? You could uh you could pinch that milk of that if you needed to. A couple yeah. of fingers. But I think that'll get bigger. I'm gonna make a stanchion because I wanna taste yeah. the sheep milk. Yeah. Heck yeah. I wonder what it tastes like. Yeah, I know, right? Shall we make sheep the new goats? Yeah. <laughs> all we gotta do is milk them. Maybe Jonah will be in charge. I'm only I'm milking, milking one. Sheep. I'm only milking one or two. You can milk all the bottles. Look at you, he's the one who wanna drink. Hey! You gonna do it? There's, there's, there's a win. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to see it. I think you have to go for Belle first. Yeah. She's the tamest. But look how big. She's massive. She's gonna have four babies. Sheep can normally have one, two, two is totally normal. Triplets aren't uncommon. I think even quadruplets. I am smelling a little bit of barnyard in here. So maybe we need to give a little extra. I could see manure. 
Let's get a load of wood chips in here too, okay guys? It probably gets worse at night because there's the sh cows. The sheep are not as messy as, as cows. Sheep lay these nice, cute, dare I say cute little pebble poops. Cows lay these big chunks. These pedal poops are convenient because they, they fall right through the deep bedding, which is great. Look, they look like little marbles. Okay, you guys got this? It, the, 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 they're in good hands here. I think it's time to watch the show. Hey, are you ready? Okay. Oh, she needs a little help with her pants. Okay, we were about to start and I forgot a lens down here for my camera. And looks like these guys need some help. She clogging up her room? No, it's open. You got her open? Yeah. Okay. A little hot water is probably the easiest way to unclog somebody. Yeah. And you, you got some poop on? Okay. Here, get me another rag. In the case that she's dirty, you just keep rubbing her down. That's why we bring lots of cloths every day. You just keep rubbing her down until you don't get any more dirt or poop on your on your warm cloth, you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys got this this time? Mm -hmm. You guys got it. Snowball's coming soon. This is maybe good practice of me not being as available. The reason I have to be on check in this show is what if there's changes? What if there's a major change? I don't think there'll be, but Ben would have Thursday and Friday to fix it the premiere is Sunday. I mean, guess technically he'd have Saturday too. He probably doesn't want to work on Saturday. So we're gonna honor his time, check this as soon as we can, and send it off to him. Okay, I've gotten mom some pancakes. Let's see if they're hot enough. I can't believe it. Her food's ready. Nature's calling me. I already called me once today. This is so classic. What's you. up with that? Hurry everybody up. Get you ready. Get Rebecca ready. Take care <laughs> and then I gotta go. Okay. I'll be back. Alright. Okay, Beck, I'm gonna call on your pancakes. Uh, yeah, I think they're good. Here you go. Beauty. Alright, thanks. Oh my gosh, what's that beep? It's the fridge. Oh my word. This is why I wanna do it at night. When the fridges were shut, when the kids were in bed, and Randolph wasn't here because it's all going to happen. Two, three, go. My roots are deep here, being the fourth generation to farm this land. Wow. Church out gives me chills. The farm brings me a happiness. Already. From the fields, forest, animals, and daily chores. It brings an independence from the grocery store, which is priceless. Tearjerker right at the beginning. Jonah's reading made the cut. <laughs> oh, nice. I love it how Ben then goes in to the problem right away, the problem of the hero, and he introed the problem that I was facing in this difficult time with my dad. When we picked up on Joel Salatin, and that means we're moving our cows every day to new paddocks, my dad gave a big resistance. I almost feel like he, he felt threatened. He used to call my wire, you know, I would set up these electric wires to move the cows in every day. He would used to call them the crazy wires. And almost, you know, almost make fun. And after that, he digs really deep into that, but then also intros our financial problems at the time. And hopefully the credit cards were gonna be temporary so that gets through this hard time, get me better, I'll get back earning. But eventually it became, 
oh, we're gonna get another, we're gonna have to get another credit card and another one and eventually, they're not gonna give us any more credit cards. It was really cool how throughout he would maybe hint at the solution that's coming. There was a mental shift from, a, from our difficult times to where we are now. There was a huge mental change and that included a mindset of Goodness. abundance. <laughs> It makes it look so romantic and like amazing. Wow, good transition right there. Ben, the director, did such a great job at aggravating and highlighting these struggles. They do get resolved. You guys are gonna have to watch. You're gonna have to watch the show to see to see how it ends. Oh my word, Becky! <laughs> it was so good. Tears of joy, tears of sadness. I like where he went with that. It's not even what we talked about, but he went with yeah. it based on the interviews. Yeah. Yeah, we talked a lot a lot more in the interviews, too. The story of my dad. He had two comps. You know, the story of my dad going on at the same as the finance. Tying it together. Like, we've never been able to tie that together, but it, it, it totally made sense. Yeah, it was good. And uh, I cried a lot. Jonah's intro. Yeah, that was really good. Jonah, can't wait till you see it, buddy. Can you show me my part? We're gonna wait till Friday. No, Premiere sorry. it to, really? to staff. Only only a hair of a mistake. Yeah, just He showed our first straight. gardener instead of a picture of my dad, but yeah. that's it, I would say. Yeah. Other other things are just complimentary. I'm looking at that and I'm like, I want this first one to fly. You know, because if we're gonna make gonna more. Be amazing. That was kind of this. This is gonna test to see, you know, how many people we get to Watch the premiere, how many people we sign, sign up for our member area. But you know what? That was so good, like, I don't even know if it's a test anymore. I'm like, I like that, that's so good. I'm gonna make it fun no matter what. <laughs> so if my OG really plan good. doesn't work, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say, Ben, gonna let's do another one next month. <laughs> We're gonna make it work, whether it works or not, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's so good. The message needs to get out there, right? It's so beautiful. The he did such a good job. And, like, and see, he like knows us. So, so this is the, the 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 person who did this yeah. film is the person who did Permaculture Chickens for us. So we hired him for that other project. So he knows our story a little bit, but he doesn't like know all the details so he's coming in here with like some knowledge of it and like tell me more about this and tell me more about that yeah. and so i think i heard him say something like he wants to do a story on on me moms i'm like on you i don't, know, That's what, so cool. I don't like, know what he wants to we, do with we never me, go but. there like in the block we, there's some things we just can't do it's just creative capacity but he's gonna take us there I know. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. What you need, Lily? Thank you for waiting. Daddy patient. wants to get out of the bathtub. And okay. Want you to get in. All right, Mr. Brown's wrapping up his second bath. All right, I got him out of the bath. Where do you want to be the most comfortable, Gideon? Oh, okay. Is that good right there? Okay. You want to try to move it though? I know you want to keep it still. Try to move it some. Looky here. We got a light in here? No. No. I guess I can kind of see it. But this is the real joy right here. This is the real joy. Forget the tile. We got a washer and dryer in here now. Yep. You did a you did a top loader. You got rid of your front loaders. I Why? I don't like the the uh well because I'm gonna do cloth diapers. Yeah. You really need a top loader for that. And I didn't feel like the top loaders were actually getting anything clean, so so this will work. So I know, and oh, uh, you said top loader there. The top loaders weren't getting anything. Clean? I mean, the front loaders. The front loaders, the front loaders okay. weren't getting anything clean, so I switched to Speed Queen, which okay. I found on the tour because Speed Queen is on all of the uh, laundromats. Randolph's got his window in now. He does. Yeah. We got a ram. Got the window in. She looks good. What is it? Got the. Yeah. It's the heat oh, he's fan. Oh, he's got a heater and a fan. Uh, word on the street is they're doing the jump. Let's see. Nice. All right, now Durton's going. Whoa! <laughs> you guys are wild. Oh, now that's the treatment. Nice. Rebecca called me back to the bedroom to say, there's a gate open right there. She said, what's going on with that? And I, I said, 
Well, maybe we forgot to put it. She, then she said, where's Flossie and Stud Muffin? They probably went out that gate. Uh, sure enough. Oh, and it looks like a rune's on it. <laughs> there they are, <laughs> in the garden. It's handy having the pole barn in your backyard because you can just check on the animals. Anytime. The gate to the mulch didn't get shut. Will you open it? Yeah. And then come help us herd. I got you, Arun. Arun? <laughs> okay, I think the guys caught them. They need a, I need to herd them around the back. Okay, they're gonna have us bring them that way. Okay. That's fine, too. There you go. Good job, Arun. Good job. I was there. I was I was in the basement. I okay. heard him. He making noise. I said, what's wrong? I was telling him, what's wrong? <laughs> then he was looking there. Uh -huh. Then I looked there, I said, oh, the cows are out. <laughs> <laughs> so he told me, actually. Is that gate shut now, Jonah? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to see our pilot show, Rooted, I promise you're going to really enjoy it. You're going to laugh, you're going to cry, you're going to dig deep into our lives, into the depths of a homesteading life style. I'll leave the link for that down in the description. And if you're seeing this after the live premiere on February 14th, no worries, we'll give you, how about let's give you a free sample. Link below.